How we doing today? I gotta, I gotta squeeze in. I know it's kind of we're doing this off of my phone and like it's it looks quiet. It so looks good on our end. Yeah, crank that thing up, but it looks good on our end as far as visually, and we can hear you great. Yeah, no, that's just us. We just look good. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> Hell yeah, fellas! If you could, could you please? Uh, <laughs> Could you please uh, properly introduce yourself? Let us know where whereabouts in the world you are right now, and plug or promote anything you'd like. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're scoundrel. We're like half of scoundrel. Uh, my name's Eric. Uh, I do. I play guitar uh, for the band. And I'm uh, Chris. I play drums. Where? And then the rest right of now the we're in Eric's. Band. And uh, we're over here in Fresno, California. That's where we from where we represent hell yeah uh toss out all your social media links real quick i know bruise uh bruise brujas and blunts is the facebook one but what's all the other ones the other ones yeah it's uh uh whatever.com uh slash scoundrel 559 okay yeah, so i think you know instagram Twitter, um youtube uh scoundrel 559 yep Hell yeah. Let's start off with Dead first. Uh, I saw it was on Space on Travel. What is what does this particular track mean to you guys and what is it about? Well, I mean, our, our yeah, I wish our vocalist was here. He uh we basically wrote the song just to try to make um this was one of the first songs that we started practicing and really wrote for this EP. Um uh we ended up we had a, a different version of it, um, almost a couple different before we actually got our current vocalist, Cody. Um, and the song is basically just about, about the Central Valley almost. It's almost about the, 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 the grit and like the attitude of California basically. And, um, at least, you know, on the, in the metal scene, it's, uh, it's kind of, you know, a lot of it has to do with, uh, I guess, um, I don't know, just kind of coming out of the Central Valley and, and, uh, not letting it eat you up, you know, cause it, you can get sucked into this toilet bowl, you know? <clears throat> so, uh, but I mean, he, he better explain that, but like. I do help Cody with uh, some vocals, but not necessarily lyrics. Kind of uh, more vocal patterns and, and uh, you know stuff placement. How did you guys meet yeah, Cody? Yeah, for sure, it is definitely. I'm sorry. I was, oh, yeah. uh, so Cody was in another band called Summon the Harbinger, and he was in another band called Benson. He's just doing local things. He's from Hanford, which is about 45 minutes from uh, from Fresno. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, in our search for vocalists, we kind of like had like a bad track record with vocalists, you know, not being able to keep up or like, you know, whatever fucking happens with them. But um, Stefan hit up Cody. He's our bassist. Um, and uh, he hit up Cody and Cody's just like he's one of those guys who just he's like a yes man. Like you ask him something. He's just like, yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, I'm down. Like mm -hmm. and I like so, that. You know, like we tried him out for a couple practices and like he just like he sounds fucking really good and he's just like i think because he's been doing it for so long you know he just he has his own sound yeah he's a tough boy yeah and he fit he fits really well uh with with the music that that we write yeah it so sounded we're really lucky to have him. when i first heard dead it's like not only did the production like the drums everything sounds more snappy and like like produced really really well but Cody is like a way heavier in your face, grabs you vocalist and you just have to pay attention. Like he commands the stage. I love it. Let's jam some dead. We're hanging out with Scoundrel. Where's this video shot at? It kind of looks like a, like the Hills Have Eyes movie set or something. <laughs> it was a fucking paintball arena. <laughs> or uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, it's airsoft. Paintball airsoft. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's like a big ass junkyard. There's a bunch of fucking cars and just junk just everywhere. Like kind of like a, in a maze. Um, it's like on like the west side of Fresno, next to this fucking like horse, dead horse or like carcass processing plant. Fucking stinks. Oh yeah, it's stink. over there. It's stink. But it's dope as fuck. Like the 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 place is sick as shit. Yeah, any horse meat for sale there? <laughs> That sounds terrible, but 
Uh, let's dive. <laughs> let's dive into uh, to the EP. What's a song on on the EP that we have not jammed on the show that we absolutely have to hear? <laughs> well, so I think you've done "Here They Lie" and "Dead" already. Yeah. Scapegoat is probably like the the heavier one. Damage is a little bit more on like the feeling side, so it's a little slower. Still got some heaviness to it though. But I think personally, "Scapegoat" is my favorite song off of the EP. We'll do "Scapegoat" next, but we I definitely still want to hear "Damage." But we'll do "Scapegoat" next. It's actually a good time to play through. What were you saying? I said there's a, a guitar playthrough uh, that I did for that song on YouTube as well. For Scapegoat. For Scapegoat. Let's play that then. Visual is always better. Are you guys uh? Yes, sir. Sativa, Sativa, Indica, Hybrid, what's your fave? I do. I swear I'm not all right, my first observation is I don't I don't see that brand of guitar very often. Why did you choose? Oh, that's a Kiesel, yeah. That's a, that's a guitar, bro. Why'd you choose a Kiesel over just anything else? I just don't see that very often. I'm not a guitar player, so I don't know. Like, is that, did that provide the sound that you prefer? Is that why you chose the, a Kiesel? Yeah, honestly, no, it does. It's good for the video. Like, I never really play that guitar because I feel like that guitar is mainly good for like clean stuff like really like maybe like proggy stuff for example but for metal like at least i have not been able to accomplish a tone that i'm like happy with 100 percent with it mm -hmm. so it just looks good for videos it doesn't have like that that chunky drop d chuggy sound is what you mean it's more for like yeah there's, there's yeah there's something a little bit odd about it but it sounds great like clean like with no distortion like it's very very like precise sounding and yeah. I think that might be what the issue is. Maybe I'm just not that good of a guitarist or something, and I can hear all my. It's not that. When I play it's it. not. It's not. It's not that. What uh, what concert did you guys attend separately when you were when you were younger, where you were just in awe looking at this artist, and you were like, I wanna, I wanna play guitar like that. I wanna play drums like that, or whatever the case may be. What what made you wanna pick up an instrument and be better at it? What artist? Wanna go first or me go? <clears throat> yeah. Um, so I remember specifically, like I watched I like I love Pantera. Um, so I watched the music video for five minutes alone. And it's just uh it's a video of, you know, and it has like the shots of like it's like a camera like at the end of like the guitar. So like you can see down the the strings or whatever, and just watching his hands like go like this and like the strings like flopping and shit, bro. Like that really made me want to play guitar, like as you know, growing up. Like I feel like Dimebag Daryl of Pantera is like one of like my top influences because just watching him play and like hearing what he does, he's a legend. Uh, it's just fucking like, so inspiring. Um, I would say, I would say probably, and it wasn't even, it wasn't even like a live experience. I mean, it was a live DVD that I used to have of Corn. I think oh four. Back when uh, David Silverio was still in the band, and he has this sweet drum fill like intro solo shit that he does that leads into right now, which is like my favorite corn track. And I watched that and just awe, like, and it's not even like a super complicated anything. It was just more of just like how impactful it was. Like you could see the crowd and they just like were stoked. And and it's funny story. We actually played with uh, David Silverio's um, his what? newer band, uh, Breaking in a Sequence or Bias. That's what I was gonna say. I, I think I think David's in Southern California, like permanently, and he plays he plays all the time in in his in his side bands. But I've never seen any of his side projects. But that was terrible how that that ended up like well, that split happened. Was, uh, they're, yeah, they're they're his like current and like most I guess devoted project he has right now that he's committed to, because uh, he's had a few other bands that he's been in. But um, I know of one for sure. But. Yeah, we, I like met him and got like a drum uh, kick uh, head signed by him and everything, and it was so sweet. But because that that was really one of like the guys that started it all for me. He was one of the first drummers I kept my eye on, and Corn. I've always been a huge fan. Like they're just amazing. So I think uh, that that definitely sparked like me getting my own drum set when I was like 13, 14, and then just fucking starting off. All right, so Snoop Dogg 
and Tommy Chong walk into the room that you guys are in right now. But the whole band, the all of Scoundrels there. We're all smoking. I'm there too. We're all smoking. Who in the band can outsmoke everyone else? Uh, who's, who's the last Cody? who's the last Cody's the, the last man standing? Hell yeah. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. <laughs> let's uh, so. Fellas, let's go ahead and jam uh, let's go ahead and jam <laughs> damaged. And then I want to know if you guys are down to review some bands with me. Uh, it could be any genre from anywhere. And in addition to that, I want to do some trivia. We'll do some wheel spin stuff. You could win a prize more. You'll probably probably torture me instead. Uh, first question though, weird question. Do you have any hot sauce nearby? Yeah, I mean, I can go to my kitchen real quick and grab some. If you're down, please do it. Should I go grab it? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna play some oh, damaged, and we're gonna get a we're gonna burn our taste buds here in a minute. I see what you mean. Nice, oh my God, nice. That's nasty. That's nasty. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, I love how you guys are just down, just like that. Let's go. I see what you mean, though, by being, like, a little bit softer, but it's still a heavy record. It's just got, like, dissonant kind of chords and stuff, and it's it's not, like, go, 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 like, all in your face. It's kind of more elaborate in the yeah, spacing in the mix. Hell yeah. Let's jam, um, oh, yeah, the trivia, the trivia. Scoundrels going on tour. You guys are going from California all the way to New York. You got 20 gigs on the way. But you can only watch one movie franchise or one TV franchise. But make it the one you know the most knowledge about. What do you guys know the most about? Simpsons, South Park, Breaking Bad. Anything. Anything. Your call. Wait, he says show? Yeah. Like or TV movie. show or like something on Netflix, right? Anything. It could be. Movie, it could be no, movies. Okay. If it, anything. If it's, I mean, I might. I might only speak for myself. Maybe I think Stefan would agree too. But uh, probably MCU universe, like Marvel. Oh shit! Absolutely. I'm actually. St I'm actually on Black Panther right now. I've been watching it the last like two weeks. Would you agree with that, Eric? Me, I have. I have not. Yeah, I don't really watch. Um, like shit that much together would, together we'd probably like bang out some fucking south park like we'd probably kill that show on a or tour. maybe or maybe rick and morty maybe or uh fuck what else is it safe to say you've seen all the rick and mortys i think i've seen pretty much all of them i haven't seen the last season okay Actually. give me a second i'll i'll try and queue up some rick and morty trivia uh that sounds like a fun one to do <laughs> let's let me do the same thing i'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, let's play some bands that uh, we have jammed and some of them we have not jammed before. I've never, I've never heard of this. I have no idea what it's gonna sound like. Not the Kraken with WLDD. I don't know. That one's interesting. Uh, how you like your eggs fried or fertilized? No, no. I forgot his name. That's what he sounds like to me, though. How you like your I eggs? Like your eggs. Fried or fertilized? Uh, it's like a, it's a love song. Or like a song about wanting to fuck or something. <laughs> I, How do you like heard your it. eggs? Do you want me to cook you breakfast or you want me to fertilize your shit? Because I can do both. <laughs> I never heard that. Got <laughs> uh, Being sent here, so we're just. I guess we'll just play this. This is chaos. A cause for concern. I'm still working on the question. Give me a second. Blind observations from... Actually, I don't even know if it's from Chaos to Cost. I don't know what's going on here or who we're playing right now, but it was kind of a cool song. Not too bad. I think the band is Follow the Eyeless, and I I like their creativity. I like their name, and I like their lyrics. I don't, I don't think it was. I think it was. Oh, the, that, was that was the name the of the song? Game. I think so. I, I, I don't know. I think it was. Yeah, because when you go here, I think maybe this is like the label or. I don't know, cause yeah, cause it's got blind. I think it's blind observations is the band we just played, but uh, South Park trivia, because that's not what you initially picked. I'm gonna go with a somewhat easy one. I think you guys will know it. In South Park, what is the name of Stan's girlfriend that he always throws up on? Oh God, uh, Wendy. Wendy is correct. Give me a hell yeah. Let's we'll see what it lands on. Let's go ahead and play. I know we've played it before in the past, but we have not played it today. 
So I want you to tell me an artist that you have played with lately, like maybe at a show or something that just blew you away and we need to hear them on this show. I think this one, the riffs in this one are my favorite on the whole EP. That down. That's cool. Thanks. So you said Cody was yes man, but he didn't say yes to this interview. I'm just kidding. He's probably doing something, but he's busy. But uh. <laughs> do you guys play? Uh, do you guys play video games at all? And if so, what's the best video game ever made? Um. Yeah, I'm a pretty big gamer. I would say one of the best video games ever made. Damn, I mean, probably Skyrim, bro. They, they've redone that on, like, four different generations of consoles now. And, like, I still want to play that game. Like, because I have a PS5. And if you've played, like, the newly revamped, like, like game, it's still, like, a tr it's a trip. Like, how well it runs now and just the graphic quality of it. And I would say that's probably what the majority would say, you know, would be like one of the best video games ever. I can come back to that game any day. Me too. I've I've played through Skyrim a bunch of times and then when they release all the mods and stuff. Um Yeah. Well, and and Fallout oh, yeah. and those kind of games like MMO yeah. RPG ish games I really like. Eric, what would you say? Mm-hmm. Oh man. Okay. So I don't really play video games that much, but I just I mean for the nostalgia feels, I love the the Pokemon games like all the way up to fucking what's past diamond and pearl what's that really like black and white oh x and y and oh, then, x and y was yeah cool. x and y up until like that era so that's yeah up until like all the games started coming out on the ds he hasn't really played the ones on the switch though just no like yeah. i just finished playing uh pokemon legends arceus my brother's playing that, that right shit now. is amazing if you like pokemon go play that fucking game yeah. it's outstanding I've actually, I've never yeah, even that. held a switch before, believe it or not. I'm, I've, I, I don't know why. I'm sure, I'm sure my five year old son will discover it sooner or later and I'll have to buy him one. But I'm an Xbox only guy for achievements reasons. But did you think of. <laughs> but sideways. Stupid. That's not how it is. But I mean, it kind of is, honestly. No. But with, you know, with buttons and a joystick. It's like a tablet with fucking attachments. It's a skinny, I know what it is. I, I know what it is and I need to get one, but, uh, did you think of did you think of the uh the band that we need to know about like a local another local band that you guys maybe jam with that you're friends with that we just don't happen to play on the show um frog dog i really like frog dog yeah i mean those are some talented fucking dudes right there yeah it's frog like dog? P -R -A -W yeah p-r-a-w-g d-a-w-g but there's a space in between. Uh, he'll, he'll, he'll oh, there we go. Boss fight. That's the song right there. Uh, Scoundrel in chat is saying that we need to play Dead Things, Unity TX, or Talpas, or Dolores, or Note of Terra. Which one of those I just... Play Dolores. Dolores? Yeah, right. play Dolores. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Did he say a song? On site. Fuck yeah, right there. On site, yeah. Okay, we're checking it out. Good recommendation right there. I'm gonna put them in. Dolores on site for sure going on the poll today. Let's, let's do a little more South Park trivia. I feel like I'm gonna stump you sooner or later. Your next South Park trivia is at one time Eric Cartman formed a Christian rock band. Do you recall the name of the band? I need to know the name of the Christian rock band that Eric Cartman once formed. Oh, man. He formed a Christian rock band. And there's an episode where they they he makes a Christian band. They they release a, a CD. It's only because oh my God. he's not in the band Sexual. the rest of them, the rest of them yeah. make. And then it actually ends up blowing up because he went like the religious route and I guess. Oh, yeah. Shit. I remember. I just... Finger bang. Finger bang. Is it finger bang? No, no, no. no that's the boy band. Oh, finger Damn bang, it. bang, bang into my life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hell, make sure we didn't miss anybody on the Damn. refresh, too. Wait, so what was it? Uh, well, I'm going to see if Chad can get it. I'll give him about 10 more seconds, and then we'll let him know. We'll let you guys know. 
play another Facebook supporter. Let's go with the, I think you guys will like this band. If you never heard of Seven Cities Dead, you ever heard of them? Take that as a no. This one's called Courage Under Fire. Gotcha. The answer was Faith Plus One. <laughs> Faith plus one was the answer we were looking for. <laughs> Seven cities dead, courage under fire. Oh Fellas, if the Bloods. have you ever discussed possibly going the route of getting a feature on a track? And if so, who would you like to feature on a track? Would it be a vocalist? Would it be a, uh, like a, a Jason Richardson on a solo? Like what route would you go if you went a feature? I like vocal. Yeah. I, I'd rather do a vocal. Yeah. Um, sure. Damn. Scoundrel, fuck, man. I mean, I might want to hit up like, like Taylor Barber from like Left to Suffer, or um, oh, you know who would be so sick would be like uh, Tom Barber from Chelsea Grin. Oh my god, I fucking love that man. So it's like somebody from that death core, era, you know. Mm -hmm. I feel like I feel like Ryan before. Kirby would slide in, slide in real, real easy from from hey, Super King. I, that's fucking. That'd be sick. Fit for a king's vocalist. Fit for a king. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know a lot of vocalist names. Yeah. So I'm gonna, just name yeah. the band. Oh, name wait. the band they're in. How about that? Yeah. Oh, the band. Okay. Yep. So I really liked the last ten seconds of life, but when they had that one guy who did the Soulless Hymns album, that guy's fucking range and clarity in his voice is like insane. Like he's got these like really nasty gutturals, but you can you can hear him enunciate every single word, so it's clear what he's saying. It's fucking I don't know, it's crazy. I forgot his name though. You know, what would be the dream though, is if we got Joe Duplantier from Gojira. Gojira, yeah. Go oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be, be nasty. Great. That's nasty. <laughs> that would be nasty. Uh, fellas, we got time for a couple more. Uh, what can we expect from the band the rest of 2022? Any more, any more, I know that the EP came out last year, but is there a possibility of like a one-off single with a video, maybe some uh, some shows outside of California? Like, what do you guys have planned? Are you busting out? Let me bust out the whiteboard again. I feel like I've done this before. On what? The Look. Basically, we actually just finished um, shooting day one of our music video for the next single that we are releasing um, soon this year. This guy's got an actual... <laughs> we have a vision board so uh yeah we're we're doing a single right now <laughs> we just finished recording drums for a single um we're we just finished filming one day of the music video for it yeah and the next is just a uh, performance shots and then filler and stuff is there yeah. and then we want to just like hit a bunch of different cities way outside of fresno to plant like little seeds and hopefully, like that. Hopefully, they sprout, and then we can start getting more like out of town shows because we don't want to be in Fresno anymore. You know, we're I feel like we just we're done here, so we just want to go other places and like expand that way. That's the plan. Yeah. Is there a rough idea of when the, the that video will be out? Maybe like summertime or. Yeah, you were definitely shooting for um, this summer for at least for that video to release. Um, oh, yeah. Anything after Excellent. that is Excellent. kind of like, like he said, we'll probably be trying to travel a bit, trying to get out of town and trying to expand a little bit. But as for right now, like the next immediate, I guess, content release we will have would be that music video. It's going to be for um, a, a song. Can you say the name? Yeah, it's a, it it's a brand new song. If you guys really pay attention, you'll know the song. It's called. It's going to be called Ides of March. Yeah. Even though we're going to drop it in like, like June. July or some shit. Like <laughs> I was gonna ask that as my next what question because I saw Ides of March in the quotation. So we from the from the board sure, that yeah. you just showed us. Uh, t final final question right here, two part. First, let's take one more shot. W I guess the question is, will you take one more shot? And then the second question, but this is the real. This is a real question. I ask everybody this that we have on the show. I would like a piece of advice that both of you were gifted at some point in your life that affected you positively regarding your music career, or if that's too hard to think of, what is a mistake you made in your music career that you do not want anybody else to make that's in a garage band right now trying to get to where you are and or beyond? That's a deep one. I know. I like this. I feel like 
with me, like, this is how I live my life in general. Like, um, my grandpa told my mom, who told me, it's uh, uh, a smart man learns from his mistakes, but a wise man learns from, from others' mistakes. So, like, I do a lot of, like, watching and, like, I pay attention to stuff and then watch people, like, fuck up. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to do that. Obviously, I have my fair share of fuck ups, but for the most part, I feel like it, it helps me keep everything smooth. You're an observer. You you witness others make mistakes yeah. and you mental note, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah. And then same I question. Mean, I, I would say, I don't know, just make sure you have a good manager. That's That's all you can, like, at the end of the day, um you know it's music is it, it's, if it's like you know in your heart if it's your passion like that's all good but if you don't have um i guess your head like a head in um you know the business world and like how to kind of take off from being a garage band to you know being actually you know make do this for a living um you know we got lucky we have a kick-ass uh manager he's our bassist stefan so you know, uh, Yo, shout out Stephen. Just, that's, that's what I notice a lot is like a lot of people don't really have the direction starting off. And, uh, I get thing that gets overlooked a lot because people just think that's going to come to them whenever. Um, but it's really just, you know, kind of up to you when you want to kickstart and actually take it to, you know, the next level, the next caliber, I guess. Yeah. So, so basically the two things I got out of it is, is, even if you think you're you're hot and you're a great band, you've got to get management to make sure that somebody knows how to make the decisions that most bands don't know how to make. And that kind of means that, hey, we're taking our, our career seriously. At the same time, when you're out and about watching other bands play and they be f***ing up left and right, don't do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Pay attention. Hell yeah. Well, gentlemen, I appreciate you guys. Uh, we, we talk quite often on, on Facebook. I wish you the best uh, as far as the, the video coming out possibly in the summertime. But uh, you guys are awesome, man. I've been a fan for a really, really long time. I appreciate you spending some time with me today. Please don't be strangers. You're welcome back anytime. And it's when the video is ready, please let me know so I can be one of the first people to do a reaction review video for it. Absolutely. Yeah, dude, for sure. You are the man. Thank you. We, we're, we're fans of you too, man. We appreciate you. Yeah you know just even exposing us at all so dude, yeah. for real thank you for what you do i appreciate you guys guys if you enjoyed scoundrel please hit the follow button support them and if you are in fresno hey or the I'm surrounding here. areas hey. definitely catch a show and uh say what's up to steph and cody eric and uh just just go out there and just buy some merch man buy some merch have a great time and yeah thank you fellas i appreciate it you guys enjoy the rest of your day thanks Ladies and gentlemen, Scoundrel! Give me a hell yeah! Cheers!